How can teachers include all children in focused and rich sensory explorations of the world around them? Sensory play is an essential element in an inclusive early childhood classroom. Children can be given opportunities to squish, scoop, sift, and mold all kinds of things. But in some classrooms, teachers are very intentional in the way they set up and focus children's explorations. They nudge children beyond simple explorations into more in-depth investigations. Are there children in your classroom who need some extra support to help them be engaged deeply in sensory play? There are many easy but often overlooked ways to make sensory time more accessible for all your children. For example, play a while with the children. Model self-talk by voicing possible questions and theories and by describing what you're doing. Invite children to join in the play with you. Encourage the children to ask questions, make predictions, and draw observations. Give them opportunities to describe and share what they have experienced. Ask open-ended questions like, how can you get more bubbles when you blow? Or, what else can you do with that? How can you get the shaving cream to move in another way? So, before your children play with shaving cream the next time, ask yourself, what are my major goals for this experience? What properties or concepts about the materials could the children experience? What could I do to set the stage? What open-ended questions could I ask that would nudge the children to dig deeper during the experience? How could I foster discussions that revisit the experience after it is over? When you spend time reflecting on and planning for your sensory playtimes, you can help your children accomplish great things.